Hi love people, welcome back to my tutorial for today. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for stopping by and please, if this is your first time, kindly help out by hitting on that red icon to subscribe and also touch the notification bell to be the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So now today's class we shall be looking at how to make an off shoulder Ibo blouse. Okay, so here I have my one and a half yard of cord lace. I have my satin, my doll face satin. I have my lining. I have my zipper. I have my thread, a matching thread, of course. I have my wadding and I have my paper stay, my hair stay. Sorry. Okay. All right. So the first thing we have to do is to cut out our bodies. All right. So first we'll be cutting out our satin okay then we we'll use it to cut out our lace okay so here i will folding those into two okay using the back face okay i have to fold my fabric into two uh, to cut out our front part all right so because this is an off shoulder i'll be taking out what we want so here you can take out five inches four inches six inches seven inches depending how off you want it to be so here i'm taking out five inches okay and the length of the of my blouse is 26 inches plus one for the joining will give us 27 inches okay so here i will take my measurement starting from the five inches okay all right so here i have my upper balls i have my both points i have my under balls i have my half length okay so the next thing to do is to take our boss pan measurement okay so the boss pan i'm working with is eight inches divided by two to give us four plus 0.25 of my joining so here if you're using 0 0.5 feel free to add so but i i use 0 0.25 in joining so here i'll be using making use of 4.25 okay so here i will mark 4.25 i'll mark 4.25 so i'll do the markings to the down length of our blouse okay so I'll just mark 4.25 down okay 10.25 so coming up here at our shoulder I'll be adding half to it to make it 4.75 okay so here I will use a straight line to connect it. Okay. Okay, so the next thing to do is to take our dart measurement. Sorry, I have to extend it to the blouse length. Okay. All right. So the next thing to do is to take our. So here I'll be taking half an inch to the side. Okay, and here I'll be taking one and a half. Okay, so I will do the same at the under bust. Here I will take half an inch to the side, and I will take one and a half the side okay so coming down here i will come up by two inches okay so here so our last length i'll come up by two inches okay so i'll just connect it now from here i will make a straight line to connect it to those two inches Okay, so I'll take it this way again to connect it. All right, so here I will come down straight, then I'll come down here straight. Okay, so here I will 
make a slight curl from this part okay and I will do the same to this part all right I will just come in to make it okay hope you're getting what I'm doing all right so from this upper point i'll come out here by half an inch at the shoulder i will come out by half an inch and i'll go in here by one inch okay i'll go in by one inch so from here now i will connect it to those points okay and from here i will connect it to those points all right this way okay so as you can see this is very very easy and uh, simple okay so the next thing to do is to impute our body measurement so the bust i'm working with is 41 inches divided by 4 to give us 4 point to give us 10.25 okay i've marked my 10.25 all right so here i'll check my dart which is one inch so i'll put back the one inch here because i'll be removing this okay so i'll put back the one inch then i'll add my sewing allowance of three inches okay two inches for allowance and one inch for the joining of the dots okay so here at my boss point sorry at my half length I'll be taking my under bust measurement and that is 36 inches okay at my under bust okay I'll be taking my under bust circumference which is 36 inches divide by 4 to give us 9 inches so here I'll mark my 9 inches right and here I have all together 2 inches here so here I will take back the 2 inches Okay, then I'll add extra three inches, two inches for allowance and one inch for joining. Okay, so I will take I will take the same thing to my waist measurements. Okay, I will my waist measurement divide by four plus two inches for the dots. Okay, all right in. The, the inches to my allowance so I'll just go ahead now and uh, connect that okay okay just connect this like this form of a C if I'm making an A line okay because I don't may have to make this to be straight so get it at the at the hip uh, at the blouse hip to be a little bit free okay so that's why i joined it this way okay so here coming back to our neckline um our shoulder sorry our shoulder divide by the shoulder measurement i'm working with is 18 inches divide by two to give us um eight 16 inches divided by two to give us eight inches okay so because this is an off shoulder i'll be taking out one i'll be taking out two inches okay so two minus our eight to give us six inches so here i have my six inches okay so here i have one and a half inches for our that so i'll take that put that one and a half back and i'll add extra one inch for our joining okay so here i will just connect it
all right so here i'll just make the neckline of my choice so here i'll be coming down by two inches okay in two inches is perfect because i don't want it to be too open all right so i'll just make um a v-neck line just connect it straight so here i'll just go ahead now and cut this out Okay. I'll cut this way. all right so this is what i have for my front so we go ahead now and cut out the back piece okay for the back i've drew my line i have two inches here for a zipper okay two inches here then here my nose five again i have my my blouse length which is 26 plus 1 to give us 27 inches the same thing we did for the front okay so here i have my half length plus half and i have my i have my upper bust plus half okay so the next thing to do now is to impute our bust band measurements which is 4.25 okay the same thing we did at the front part so here i'll just mark my 4.25 okay and here I will mark my 4.25. All right, and I'll do the same. I'll do the same marking at the shoulder measurement. Remember, for the front part, we added extra half an inch, but here we are going the same way because this is supposed to be straight. All right, so here I'll also mark my 4.25. Okay, so after this, I will just connect it with a straight line. okay all right so here i will do my normal half inch half inch for about that okay so i'll mark half inch here and i'll mark the same half inch at this side so here i will just connect it to our blouse length we'll just connect it to the blouse length and i'll connect this side also to the blouse length remember half half inch that for our normal that okay all right all right so here i will also connect it here to our upper bust or to our chest line any one you call it okay so i'll just connect this to meet this all right and i'll also connect it to meet this Okay, you can just decide to hold those like this and I'll stitch it up, okay? But you can also cut it out. But for this, I'll be cutting it out, okay? All right, so after this, I'll go ahead now to impute our measurement. So for the bust, it's 41 inch divided by 4 to give us 10.25. 
okay so here i'll be adding extra one inch for the joining remember we are going to cut out this so i'll be adding one inch for our joining and i'll add in two inches for our seam allowance okay all right so here i will take my waist measurement and the waist i'm working with is that of six divided by four to give us nine and here i have all together one inch so i'll put that one inch back now add extra one inch for joining and two inches for a seam allowance. Okay, so I'll just connect this now. Then I'll go straight the way I did it for the front part. Okay, so here for the shoulder, remember at the front we use six. That is our main shoulder, 16 divided by 2, 8 minus 2 to give us 6, okay? So here I'll be adding extra 1 inch for our joining. Okay, so here I'll just connect it. Okay, so for the neckline, I'll come down by 1.5 inch. I'll come down by 1.5 inch, then I'll make any neckline of my choice okay all right you think something like this okay hope is clear enough all right so now i'll go ahead to cut it out If you are still watching this video till now, thank you so so much and please watch till the end. Okay, because we are still going to do more on how to cut out what we'll be using to make our padding. Okay, all right. So the next thing to do now is to place my both sides. Okay, as you can see, the both sides are equal. Okay, so I'll just place the two sides. Here, I'll be coming up by two inches, okay? Here, I'll be coming up by two inches. Okay, so placing this, make sure that the both armhole sides are equal, okay? All right. So I'll come up here by two inches and from that two inches now I'll just make a slight curve to meet the down parts. Okay, just to avoid the pointed side. Alright, so I'll just go ahead and trim this out now. okay okay after taking out the two inches the next thing is to place our our fabric on our hair stay okay and cut it out okay now this is totally optional but i like it because i like the way it makes my blouse to to stand okay all right so i'm just cut those out you can just decide only to use the wording for it 
okay so when you are placing it the the back fabric that is the back face to join the the face of your hair stay when you touch at it you will find out that one face is rough while the other one is smooth so the rough face to face the back face of your fabric then you cut it out equal after which you will go to your iron table use your iron to to iron it to make it come or stick to the fabric okay so i will go now and use my iron to iron it up all right so after that i will just do this cutting for the only the front part and not the back face i want to be lining the back face okay all right so after that i will cut use my wording to cut out my my fabric okay all right so this is the front the center front okay so here i will just place my center front okay I think this way will come okay I will just place it and cut this out and when I'm cutting out I am stopping at my under bust okay I am not going to cut a wooden to the down to reach the down of the dress i will just cut it and stop at my under bust okay all right so then after that i will use it also to cut out for the side of my front face the side i'll just be cutting out the shape out let me use my chalks i'll show you what i mean okay i'll just cut out this the shape I'll also be cutting down reaching to my other bust I will stop so I'll just be cutting out this shape okay with my okay I'll just be cutting it out and I'll stop here I won't cut it to extend to this upper part so from here now I'll just cut and stop to this point okay all right okay so i've cut for this and i've cut what in for the center front okay all right and this for my side okay so this is what i mean all right so when you are cutting you make sure that you cut the gum Part okay, you see, so one face is shiny, okay. So that shiny face is the gum part. So you make sure you cut it to face the wrong face of your fabric, okay. So here, I'll just go to use my iron to hold it firm. Now, iron is through the material side, okay. You don't iron on top here, you iron through the side. And I'll also, before I before I iron it, I'll first of all cut out thus my hair stay, okay? Then iron it first, then place this one to iron on top it, okay? And I'll use it to cut my lining and of course I'll cut this, okay? So that will be all. Alright, so thank you so much and if you find this video very helpful, just give us a thumbs up and if you are yet to know how to join it, just give, leave a comment in the comment section and I will do the video on how to join this. Thank you for watching till the end, till we meet in my next class. Love you all. Bye.